Global News has reported extensively on the police investigation and crackdown into money laundering and organized crime at BC casinos. Now we've obtained exclusive new information about Ontario casinos. Documents obtained by Global News reveal the number of investigations into suspicious cash in Ontario casinos more than doubled in 2018. Experts say international drug cartels that targeted B.C. to wash their dirty money have now shifted their focus east. Mike Lecatur has this exclusive story. It was a simple scheme used by criminal organizations to launder money through Vancouver casinos. Someone would come in with duffel bags full of cash, gamble a little, and then cash out and leave with clean money. BC did roll out new laws to crack down on so-called suspicious transactions flowing through casinos, but there's concern the problem has moved east to Ontario. According to data obtained exclusively by Global News, the number of suspicious transaction investigations in Ontario casinos has more than doubled since 2018, which happens to be the same year BC cracked down on money laundering at casinos there. Are we concerned about... Uh people from other jurisdictions coming here to, to try and infiltrate our casinos? Absolutely. Still, the head of the casino investigation unit with the Ontario Provincial Police says the spike in the number of suspicious transactions is a result of better training and better scrutiny. He also blames the increase on a recent shift in games available at some casinos. You turn a slot facility into a full-blown casino with table games, there's larger transactions that automatically occur that should generate suspicious transaction reports. Within Organized crime experts say it's a nationwide issue. Canada is a perfect laundromat and we don't do anything to remove that label. Everyone in the world uh, knows that Canada has a lower risk of a prosecution and detention than any other uh, country in the world. Antonio Nicasso says every major criminal organization has a branch in Canada for that reason. Police allege Angelo Filiomene and nearly two dozen others linked to the Italian Mafia have laundered roughly $70 million through Ontario casinos in a two-year period. The charges Filiomene faces include directing a criminal organization and possessing proceeds of crime. The allegations have not been proven in court. It's believed it was done in thirty to $50,000 chunks split among multiple players. If you uh, only gamble a, a small amount, cash out, uh, leave the casino, uh, that looks like casino winnings. So uh, you leave there under the guise of successful play and uh, you've essentially laundered some funds. While law enforcement believes they are making strides because they're tracking more of these suspicious transactions, organized crime experts say nothing is being done to deter the practice. According to Statistics Canada, between the year 2000 and 2016, three quarters of people charged with money laundering walked free. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Ottawa.